Watch out! God, of course. So when she do a wills now we gotta watch it. I got you. Oh my gosh, I went into that. No, no healing. Be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight. But with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths unimaginable pain and suffering. Ain't good. That's bad. Hold on. Over here. Your cake. Sir. 
Hey, Tear? Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. You shouldn't linger. I thought I was going to get stuck in that. I just want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough. We will discuss our next move when we are out of danger. Y'all should have fought y'all. We shouldn't have fought y'all, man. Fight y'all in the last game. Your teammates will be helping you out. Although it does not matter as arms. How did I miss? I'm tired of this. I don't want to fight. I'm tired of fighting y'all. That boy is leaping. Oh, 
you can throw him back, I see now. Ah, uh, she, she delays her second attack. That's why I didn't block. Stop blocking. I hate that. I guess not. I guess the game didn't want to end you. Hopefully. It's been non-stop action. We try to let y'all continue your, your war. Here, we... Open the gateway, please. You want war, Atreus. See for yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. We do not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. Look, I know we can't trust prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now. I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Well, okay then. Good. Yeah, lead the way. What's the point of that? It was like a fighting area, that's why I was kind of chilling. Hail, fellow travelers! Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfine pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I. Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. Stuff some cloth in your ears to keep the sand out. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Mm. <laughs> I knew we 
he'd left something behind. So, oh, got time to chat? <sighs> Let's go see what's over here. What the heck is this? What are these animals? Go on, native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. <gasps> Someone trained them to pull a sled. Lucky for us. Domesticated <laughs> gulag. Most unusual. Interesting. Okay. Practically, practically control it. But everything, everything is with the analog stick. It's like Battlefield. Battlefield has vehicles. Everything's with the analog stick. What the? I didn't even know that was an item. Any particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? It's just turned into Gears of War. Attempting treasure chest. Damn the sand. Oh, I didn't even realize. I didn't even realize it was underneath sand. Are right, there something over there? There's something that was over here too. Getting through that gate in the storm. I heard something. towards it how oh that dude's a boss that's why he's like a mini boss that's why he's like going through some of this stuff It's annoying. Running away. It's just annoying. What's that? A diagram for a 
sword hilt. Wait. One of four? Oh, it's four pages. We should show it to one of the dwarves. They'll know what to do with it. Wrist armor. What is that? Whatever this thing is, I think the animal's inside. Whatever's inside is kicking up quite a bit of sand. How do we reach it? There's caves and tunnels are plenty out here. Let's find one and see where it takes us. Look, there's a cave entrance. I'm glad you said something, Atreus. Because I can't see. <laughs> we finally found it. This cave extends underneath the desert. Is the creature within? Yeah, sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple. Uh, great. Yep. Gotta fight some more of those things. After this, after fighting them, then we'll be done, hopefully. I'm making sure they help us low. Give them what for. How come it comes back at me? I need, I need you to go a different way. There we go. to fight them they attack us well this is their home and considering what happened the last time we were in alpha can you really blame them There we go. Patience. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader. I 
Actually, there was a nun that down there, right? Cause I, I know I didn't go through the middle. Yeah, there's a chest over there. <laughs> Interesting. I hear, you know, those small enemies. The creature you had. What does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just... I feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's in a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? I am curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. Okay. You think I can aim while I'm on those? Look. Nah, I can't. I can't aim. I was making sure. C2. And the, the door is blocking. Well, it's not anymore, so I'm blocking it now, but I only see that one and this one. I don't think I can ring it. Nope. Oh, this the angle. Okay. Found the angle finally. We gonna find this creature. We rescuing all creatures today. I've never been this interested before. When I talk to animals or enchanted rings or whatever. Much has changed for both of us. Well, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why you'd help some random animal. Is this not what you want? No, no, it, it is. I'm just surprised it's what you want too. This sucks. This is how you get there, but we need to like find a way to remove that gate. Before we go down there. It is enough, Tom. Alright, let's continue. Blocked and everything. <laughs> Bro, what is happening? I can't move for some reason. 
No. Oops. He like straight ran past him. You wanna keep blocking? Dudes, kept walking. You sure we're doing the right thing? If you wish to abandon this creature, we will leave. Well, no, I don't want to abandon it. But if we have to kill a bunch of dark elves to get there, I remember a young lad who, until this very moment, would take on an army of Draugr to save a wounded animal. But these aren't undead Draugr; they're elves. I just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes, getting involved where we shouldn't. another one of these but we ain't got no angle even from there no angle I didn't even see that. Okay. Nothing wants to fight us this time? Okay. There, that bomb should help us out. All right, finally found the angle of something. It's just, why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alfheim, we wind up hurting dark elves? We are down here to help the creature you heard. I know that, but I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care? So much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. 
Okay. Alright, this might be the angle we need actually for this as well. What? There we go. Come here. I haven't seen one of those in a while. I've ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Lynch. We'll get you out. What is that name? Well, the last good thing we saw was Diener, so... Oh, boy. While I appreciate the attempt at humor, that little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, can't all be winners. Man, this is gonna be tricky, too. There's gotta be a way to clear those rocks. Get a better angle. There we go. Hmm. What is that, too? That's two as well. Okay. I was just making sure. And it didn't work. Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Oh, okay, now we go back up to the surface. Why did they trap it down here? Hafgifers are known to burrow. I hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the dark elves. Any more than the light belongs to the light elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the light elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the dark elves make effective use of it out here in the barrens. 
So, by clearing out all of this hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Then let us free it. Just need to learn. You cannot. You could only help certain people. You want to help. You can't worry about the other stuff that it does. To everything else right now. This man trying to fall out that loophole. But look at that. It's a half goofa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye, perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered... He just wants to spend time with you, lad. Well, he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you for bringing us out here. Oh, that's cool. I'm glad we did this. As am I. Got that. There's like some stuff hidden in the sand. I don't know okay. how to get that. What other terrible things have Odin and Thor done? What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seem dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Oh, admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir God's dream. Enough. We'll continue later. Alright, let's continue with the going of the story. Any more Thor and Odin stories to remember? Oh, I know. There was Skog, the queen of the hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections, so he tricked her into killing her father. There was Starkather the Mighty, the Jotnar military leader. Slandered by Odin, tricked and murdered by Thor. And there was Thrym the Cunning, the giant king who stole Thor's hammer. Odin traded him Freya to get it back, then sent Thor in disguise to murder his entire court. Who else? Ah, Krung near the Brawler, the stone giant. Aye, mocked by Odin, murdered by Thor. Enough of this. But there's more. I do not care. War with Odin is not the answer. It's a fair few birds you've hunted. I wonder if it might be worth visiting the Raven Tree. Nah, I'm gonna do that later. Surprised to see you out here, Sindri. You must hate the sand. Oh, it is the worst. But with Brock banned from Alfheim, it's up to me to keep you ship shape and sharp. So why is Brock banned from Alfheim? Oh, that's, um, I don't know if, well, do you know what a juicy Noken is? No. Well, thanks to Brock, the elves sure do. Uh, what is a juicy? No. Yeah, I was like, no, you don't, <laughs> we can't explain that to you. <laughs> Wow. 
Well, I hope Tears had enough time to uh, find his equilibrium or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in them, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. <gasps> yeah. That's not going to be possible right now. So, this whole spectral squirrel business, you can shoot out your feelings into little ghosties. I suppose that is a slightly inelegant way of putting it. These spectral versions of myself are aspects of my personality that I often find distracting at best. My ability not only lets me cast them away and provide some temporary peace of mind, it also allows me to see what goes on outside the tree. Why not just go look yourself? As the eternal caretaker of the tree, I may not leave its confines, all part of the deal, but worth it for the immortality and such. My spectral forms still allow me to see the outside world, albeit through slightly colorful viewpoints. That's one word for it. That bitter form of yours is a nasty piece of work. I'm standing right here, you know, Nick. <sighs> I'd apologize for him, but where would it end? Well, I mustn't keep you further from your goings-on.